over on Sunday. Huzzah, hold that thought, because he's got the shot. There's two points for there is no team. Uh, you know, impressive starts. They've actually faced Illuminati as well. I think in week three, maybe it was. Going in there for a two. Not a week two, but a strong idea. Either way, though, Guinness getting back on the offense here, or on the defense, rather. Tint, Gygasm, open shots, and we'll go for the goal. Very nice. It's a three point, maybe even a pass. Either way, uh, there's two teammates for her on the bottom of the goal there. Going for a shot, maybe off a pass, and indeed, it's a pre. A great assist from Leo the Great. A, a question of what roster you'll get from there as a team, and it's fun to watch all their players, longtime players, going in there for a long time, three time shot on time for one more shot, maybe a rebound. A lot of players all piled up. Hard to maneuver, but finally, Captain Will does get through, so. Took him a uh, three or that's okay, because they got the rebound just as well. So there goes a pass over and under, and then on the defender. Guy gets it in, and it's a, a good shot on Moj and on another clear. And now on another attempt here at the goal to advance their lead to four once more. 11 is, but I, I get it. There's some hype behind Flair lately for good reason, and behind uh, that particular dude for a good reason. But looking for a good season shot, it's fair enough. The last minute or so, favoring a Guinness. But right now, again, halfway through the round in another minute, and uh, finally our first goal. There you go, Huzzah. So a pass here, Supreme Buns in the tunnel, setting a soft one that's intercepted by Huzzah. Huzzah going for a deep shot, lining that one up, and there's five points now. So after four, potentially. Uh, oh, that potentially being a very bad thing, however, for Guinness, an unfortunate missed grab for his team here on Tint. They're already starting to pile on the points, see if they can do it again. Fair enough. That's the stuff. Or as Rajumba says over in the chat, shit the best they can, but I mean, time is a winding down. And I, I know they have the one game buffer, but they certainly don't want to see that round three. Uh, that one, not going to buy them any good, uh, good to guy. And then right back again to Supreme Buns. And finally a three point shot from Supreme. Fiery true thief against Harry's Going for a cross pass, play, and what a thing of beauty from Hazard of Fair. More than a fair, not looking like the Guinness of old, and when I say old, I just mean from 10 minutes ago. Uh, going in there though, that's going to buy them at least a goal and maybe some feel good, uh, you know, most of the intermission with a little bit of a, you know, momentum and just something to kind of write home about. Saying, okay, we did something good, there it is again, a steal from Leo the Great. So, this grab, but fair enough, still sticking with it. It's a nice uh, short range boost, but Supreme Buns, no boost at all, just an anchor. And saying, uh, White Dragon, best dev player, question mark? I don't know, ask Dave. Uh, Bo Jolly, though, gets a save. Made me look like a scrub in public when I was ready. And even when I wasn't new to the game, still even sometimes make me look like a scrub. But in any case, looking for a good pass, there is fair enough to Guy Gasm. Think through, trying to dive out his Guy Gasm. The disc, or the goal rather, a bit open, but just closing it off at the last second, but not for long. There's Supreme Buns again. Very low score in third round, kind of similar to how he opened up round two. Supreme Buns, though, will try and change that if he can, and he does, and he will. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, partly due to some good defense from Guinness, no doubt. Uh, right there, so, oh, man, again. So, forcing a turnover that does eventually turn into a goal for him. Looking forward, sees that shoulder pass, well aware of it. Going in from the corner, one more. Over to Captain, uh, Leo, and rather, and rather, and uh, it's uh, over to Supreme. So, dominating. Uh, and then it was a late game comeback. Going in here for there's no team off a good play, almost, but maybe uh, not quite timed. So, uh, just... Really good job here from Mo Jolly. Again, reliable on that goal, and but that one actually conceded to fair enough. So they're they're right under the cusp there. We know the experience level of these players, and uh, again, I'm just I think they had a rough going on things against a matchup like Illuminati, obviously. But there's no oh oh I almost missed it. <laughs> I mostly missed it.
Hello, hello! Welcome everybody back to the stream for VR Master League tonight. I'm Palador. This is week eight. And we've got ourselves two more matchups on stream for you tonight, and both of them Nova. So, double header here. First off, it will be Nova facing the Skull Crusaders. And then right after that match, facing off against Genesis, who also played earlier on in the night. Uh, unstreamed, unfortunately, but they did have a game. Uh, Genesis versus uh, Guinness. And uh, lost what looked like to be a very close match, so even even more sorry we couldn't stream it. But yes, it was uh, looking at that one. It went to three rounds and pretty narrow differential. Uh, but yes, for this particular matchup, it is going to be the... Uh, the Skull Crusaders coming in uh, stronger and stronger week after week. I've been saying this as of late, and they keep proving it true because what they're, they've been doing uh, more and more is winning. Now, last time around, Skull Crusaders did have a rough go of things against Nebula, but before that, I mean, they, they took games against Deception, uh, Olympus, Six Foot Over, Invictus, Chaos. Uh, they Again, they've been piling on some wins after what was... You know, a slower initial start, and now they're almost uh, evened up on their schedule. Uh, if, or on their record, that is. So if Skull Crusaders comes along with a win here, they would be 8-8 eight and eight on the season. Currently sitting at 7-8 and eight until then. Nova, of course, going to try and put a stop to it. So Nova coming in. Another a silver team here. They are 7-9 and record-wise. 11-80 on the MMR. So both teams sharing uh, the same win count. A couple more losses in there for Nova, just... Just because they've thrown in some challenge matches over the last couple weeks, so uh, you know had tough matches the, the past several days against uh, Spaghetti last week, and then this week versus Legends. So Nova coming in here against Skull Crusaders and trying to stop their uh, momentum that they've been building for for Nova, strong team, and I expect a good performance out of them tonight, no doubt. So the <laughs> comms are muted for, uh, at the moment for the stream, but just listening in a little bit, and they had uh, almost were ready to go, but then someone had to take a last-minute bathroom break. I won't name names. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're going to get started here right soon. Everyone is otherwise in the match currently and just about ready to begin. Hello to the Twitch chat also for joining us. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Cam Jam in there. See uh, Alvin, Dra Drago King, Golden Arrow, Tony, Jacinta, and JG Jackpot. So hello, hello, and hey yo. And here we go. It's round one. About to start here. Nova Skull Crusaders. And we're off. All right, Zesper, the first hit off of that joust neutral joust taken up top by his sen maybe not gets a tap but into the side while there's oculus Seder. i dare say for those watching at home uh oculus Seder has been the the game uh in, in in terms of you know the player game over on flare oculus Seder has been essentially the game for uh skull crusaders here in in uh, the silver division been really, really putting up some huge numbers. Oculus Seder, there he is with an attempted shot, but cut off by Sir Dimwi. Sir Dimwi going for the pass over to that corner. Of the tunnel, Zesper crossing it on over. Bit strong on that one, maybe off the roll, however. It will be Venom up top along with Oculus Seder contesting. And does, in fact, get the better end of that brawl. So Oculus Seder going for Philibust. And the clear from Philibus, but look at the stack already. For Nova on the way, the overshoot, but still plays right into their hands and near that goal. Tony saying, true, Oculus Seder is game. Essentially, yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been just uh, ridiculous. But here's Ant Gas, one of those guys with the ridiculous, in a good way, names that I love. And right there from above, Oculus Seder trying to swoop in, but it's Venom. The denial with a punch. There's the quick boost. So Nova maybe going to get their first goal, but couldn't quite find it. The goalie overshooting. So still an opportunity for Sir Dimwi, who will come through with a two. Rebounded. Uh, the goalie had dived off and tried to uh, contest that. Small risk did not pay off. So Dimwi gets the first two points here on the blue side. Nova side. Running a roster tonight. Sir Dimwi, Zesper, Ascend, and Venom. Skull Crusaders, it's Soycy, Philibus, Anthony Gasolini, a.k.a. Ant Gas, and Oculus Seder. 
So Philibus sitting over here in the bow tie waiting to distribute. Gets it to Soisy. Soisy contested and contested well as Zesper gets the turnover. So goes into the two point zone. You can see the stacks already ready here for Skull Crusaders as well. Three players, but bouncing it off the head actually. Uh, fortunately, Soisy does get that back and just enough to let it loose into the wedge. But kind of getting wedged is Oculus Seder by four different Nova players all at the same time. Uh, just coming in there for the stuns and grabbing the disc. So Venom has some options, goes to Dimwi for the back pass. Nova trying to play some patient offense here. Going up high, and Zesper looking for one more delivery, maybe Venom, and he does nail the shot. So four points for Nova. Assist that time by Zesper, good patience. Couple extra passes in there to buy them the go. Hi, Tony saying the narrator scoring some points. Is that, is that me? And Alakos also stopping by. Hey there, go Nova, he says. So Philibus for Skull Crusaders. Uh, launching out pretty uncontested on the disc at the moment. You can see kind of the other defenders here playing the midline, but over on the left side, Anthony Gasolini just happy to walk it right up halfway down the floor and pass it off to uh, Oculus Sater. So Oculus Sater to Soisy, Soisy back to the shoulder. Ant Gas losing the disc there. Zesper finally uh, getting a clear as the stacks prepare. A lot of players boosting on through, and it will be a Nova there first, and they get the three as well. So good job forming up on the boost, and enough time to line up the three-point shot from up high. Seven points for Nova. So launching out, again, uh, Skull Crusaders still yet to find a score. Mentioned how much they've been improving uh, the last few weeks, their teamwork looking on point. But right now, being stifled by Nova with their uh, defense as well as just that barrage of shots they've taken now on, uh, in the goal. And Soisy will roll down there to the pass. Oculus Seder right back to Philip Bust. Bit of a tough catch as it does bounce astray. And back to Zesper's way as he gets a clear. There's the stack again, so Nova has been right on top of these uh, stacks. Unfortunately, they do get broken apart and couldn't quite get the read on the the uh, trajectory of the disc. But Sir Dimwi be, will be there trying to get the rebound. Unable to do so, Soisy launches it clear out, at least into the pocket. And Oculus Sater will take a deep shot. Is it good? Oh, yes it is. Oculus Sater with a, a nice, precise shot, sniping it from deep. And that's three points for Skull Crusaders. But Nova still the lead here by four as they prepare to joust on the offense. JG Jackpot saying Nova is all over the Skull players. Yeah, they've really been uh, closing up as much as anything. The important thing here, not only is Nova closing off some of these lanes and getting clears, but the most important thing is they're getting their stacks uh, together faster. They're getting to the disc first a lot of these times near that goal, so they're finding uh, some opportune you know, moments to just uh, capitalize on off-balance defense. Right here, I mean, you can see again, the balance, uh, the balance of the defense off-balance. That was redundant, but anyways, yeah, the defense all kind of in a line, not really at the goal. That said, Nova does turn it over here. Oculus Sater will go for a second consecutive three. Oh, wow, the double ding. Oh, that barely ever happens, and he is upset about it, understandably so. Very rare to see those double dings go off, especially on a shot, uh, shot like that. That was, you would have figured that would have gone in on that first bounce or after the first bounce, but no, just denied. Luckily for Skull Crusaders, they still get it back and maybe have another chance here. Oh, diving under and going on the defender, Philip Bust. Finds his first two points, and it's still a close game. Two-point game at that. And no, not, not game from Flair. Let's not start that again. <laughs> but looking good on the shot there for uh, Skull. No, not game, Tony. Not game. <laughs> Ascend sends it over to the opposite side of on the side wall here. Ant Gas will contest Zesper, get there first. Oh, but Venom, nice interception there. The quick hands, the quick reflexes. And now he's flexing for that great pass to Ascend. Beautiful delivery on the cutting Ascend. Four points. Uh, they're up by again here uh, over on Nova's side. About three minutes, a little bit over. Remaining in round one. Five, four, three, two, one. 
So Skull Crusaders coming out again here. Philip Bust, the QB. You can see the Nova defense opting for kind of a zone. Not really playing the stack game or the man on man too hard. They're just kind of zoning off and they do uh, just that again. Will be Philibus though with a nice short range leech to get the disc back for his team as well as Soisy. Philibus the quick uh, hands to grab that one but then just is stunned out again. So Nova really piling up on uh, these Skull Crusaders players very nicely on the defense. You know, the Skull Crusaders don't have a ton of time to work with once they do bring it onto this side of the floor. So uh, Nova concentrated, but Skull Crusaders trying to concentrate and hunker down for a shot. There's a soft pass that will result in the two, and you can see Oculus Sader just looking to paint the corner of the goalpost there uh, to avoid the hands of the defender. So very uh, well aware of just not trying to shoot it directly down center, especially on, uh, I think that was Dimwi. Perhaps, or uh, maybe, look, maybe not. I can't tell. Name was small. I think it was Ascend, perhaps. Too small for me to read on my screen. But uh, either way, Dimwi, or Ascend, perhaps being the one. One of the short name players. Who knows? I'm going to stop. But over here, we'll drop off to uh, Sir Dimwi. So there he is, finally. <laughs> over on the pass now to Ascend. So Ascend will creep on up. It's going to uh, form into this maybe one-on-one -on -one at goal. And absolutely, Zesper from Ascend. Once again, by four, ba a really back and forth play between these two teams at the moment. Seven, six, five, so a minute and a half remaining. Close, close match. Still the first round. And here comes Philibus. Uh, they need to find a goal. And as each uh, progressive second rolls off this clock, they really uh, they are going to need to start acting quickly here. They're going to need at least two, two shots uh, to... Uh, have a chance at coming back here so uh, again the more it gets stuck at the mid lane right now Nova really bothering once again but the more it gets stuck down there in the middle and out here on uh, Nova's side the less likely it is Skull Crusaders will be able to come back so needing to act fast there goes the light boost coming through Soisy is gonna be there a short range leech from Ascend very nice to get the disc right back going back board and not board at all very entertaining first match but Nova looking to proclaim this first round that was a you can see it here on the replay, I hope. Uh, just great job by Ascend. Looked like Soisy was guaranteed the disc, but you saw just at the last second, Ascend got a very short range uh, grab off of his teammate for a boost, which uh, Soisy did not expect, and that resulted in the two point shot to really close this off and secure the first round win for Nova. So good work as they continue to roll here, and the clock will wind down. So Ant Guess looking for one more pass. Maybe just a deep uh, Hail Mary of a shot couldn't quite get anything off of it. So it will be the round one going to Nova here. 13 points to Skull Crusaders, seven. So taking a look quick here also at the, just the team stats. Uh, quite even on possession time. Not a lot of separation there. Same with the shots taken, six and six apiece. Assists right in line. I mean, uh, saves in favor of Nova as well as steals, but only by a couple on each. The stuns, however, so uh, chat. someone in chat was pointing that out as well, how they're getting closed off. Uh, Skull Crusaders, that is, getting closed off by Nova. The stuns, a huge story for that. I mean, 48 to 24, so that really is uh, playing a big factor, I think, because of all of that defensive pressure that uh, Nova's putting on Skull. Okay, so for the individual stats, it will uh, be Sir Dimwi, in fact, leading five points uh, for Nova with one save. Zesper, two points, two assists. Ascend with four points, two assists. And Venom with two points and a save and a steal. Uh, Ascend, also shout out to the, for him, they have the 20 stuns, double the amount of anyone else in the match currently, at least. For Skull Crusaders, it was Oculus Sader, though, five points, that nice tunnel three that he had, as well as ten stuns. Ant Gas with three stuns. Philibus, two points and one assist, seven stuns. For Soisy, a pair of assists, feeding Oculus Sader. And with that said, we're going to go to round two. Uh, here we go. So, launches off, and this time, first tap by Skull Crusaders. Unlike that last time around, uh, Anthony Gasolini has it uh, slapped out there. But boost coming through really quickly. So Soisy's there, but Zesper, a nice snag right out of the hands of 
the enemy. And Oculus Slater gets it right back. So uh, he's going to go for that clear. Will bounce down low. I mean, it's one of those clears that are, are kind of a half shot attempt in a sense that anytime you go for those corner clears off those tunnels and things like that, it does give it a non-zero chance of going through. You see it from time to time. So it's kind of, it, it's a clear with intent. But uh, over here for Nova, they just intend to keep on rolling in the second round. For Skull Crusaders, it was a close first. But Nova did pull away, so Skull just trying to find their footing. See what they can do. So players are launching out again. It's Nova there first to the disc. And just backing it out to Ascend. Uh, Nova right now doing a really nice job just playing that patient game. But Sir Dimwi just head on collision with the defense. But Ascend gets it right back again. Now the pass over. A Zesper going to the wall. And it will roll eventually. Maybe a chance at an open goal even. Venom takes that slice shot. And it's a nice shot. Right down below for three points to open up round two here. And a perhaps disgruntled sigh I heard there from one of the Skull players in the open comms. I'm not sure. So intercept after intercept being sent over. And it will be uh, taken here by, looks like, Soisy going for a shot, but cut off. And, uh, yep, no problem, Nibu Gotti. Uh, see what happens is the game manually makes the minimap disappear after goals are scored. Sometimes I forget to manually pull it up fast enough. Because <laughs> otherwise it reappears automatically, but it takes, uh, it takes a little bit of time, so I try to do it faster. But sometimes I forget. Anyways! Not forgetful on that, woo, that save actually on the shot. I was going to say, a nice roll up by Dimwi and Co, but that was just absolutely stuffed right in front of the goal. A great one, and actually bought them the uh, score on the other end. And So Skull Crusaders, maybe they can use that as their footing here. I mentioned, I, they still kept it close in round one, to their full credit, but, uh, you know, I'm not seeing exactly the same, I guess, you know, intensity or ferocity that I'm used to seeing from Skull Crusaders in the last few weeks. Uh, some of that just due to, again, the aggressiveness, I think, from, from Nova. It's definitely a factor, as I forget to pull up the minimap again, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, uh, Skull Crusaders having <clears throat> much of a more difficult time and being tested by Nova, no doubt. And uh, uh, it's, it's, as I say, to the point that it's almost a dead horse that I'm beating, but Nova's defense is really strong, and it has been... Uh, since even before preseason, you know, when I was uh, scrimming, scrimming them on my uh, on a clip, and over there, not clipping anything, just hitting the goal. It's Oculus Sater. So as I say that, I mean five to three, Skull Crusader is pulling ahead here for uh, I believe the first time in the match. So there you go, good hit. Six minutes, fifteen seconds, still yet to be played in round two. So Nova will go with a slow rollout here on offense and nice little handoff and backs it off to uh, Venom. Venom going forward here to Zesper. So Zesper with some room to work with for sure. Just kind of waiting for the Nova players to space out for him. They're going to go for that one, but oh, just being taken off guard by some punches. So, uh, losing the disc and it will fly into the uh, center of the bubble and then right back out again. Ant Gas coming in from the angle and will just lay it through. Gentle dunk and up now, seven to three. So Skull Crusaders starting to flow now, I think. Uh, just needed to see some of those goals go in, the easy ones. And it's, you know, just, it's made them feel better. It's had them calm down. And now maybe they're in position to force a round three. We've already seen well, uh, two two round threes in a row, actually, dating back to the last stream uh, about an hour ago. Oculus Sater looking to just pile on some more. Might get a rebound uh, just to the hands of Soisy. Oh, what a good team play that was. I can only assume that was uh, on purpose. You saw Soisy there. I mean, he had his teammate right by his, his side, by his flank. And, uh, and so Oculus Sater opted to go for the stun on the Nova defender, which enabled Soisy to grab it and have all day to line up that shot. That was really nice from Skull Crusaders, and they're looking 
uh, again, just really good. And this is the Skull Crusaders I am more familiar with as of late. So, I know we talked about it too on the, uh, well, when I say we, I mean they, on Dimwi's podcast the other day, kind of, there were predictions about this match. And uh, Nova, I would agree, Nova are favored to win for sure. But someone, uh, hold on, the train, holding on, and there it is, right off the brain. Someone got a head on it, doesn't matter. It's a uh, Oculus Seder, Soisi, all of them coming in for a most easy shot. So now they are really rolling. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. So on Sir Dimly's podcast, I can't remember who it was. Someone made a prediction that uh, Nova would win in two, and there'd be a mercy. There was a mercy bet thrown in, and uh, I mentioned I agree that Nova is it. It was favored, but I was saying in the chat there, I was like, hey, I, I think I think a lot of people haven't really seen the Skull Crusaders as of the last three weeks now because they're not. I'm not trying to commentators curse it, but they've been a very different team than they were in weeks one through three or four. Uh, full full stop. <laughs> as uh, someone appreciates that clear but but yes uh, so I mean I wouldn't be surprised to see Nova win it at all I think they're favored but Skull Crusaders are they're, they're it, to me I, I very much doubted we'd be seeing a Mercy uh, and I said if nothing else I would have expected a round 3 Nova victory so we'll see again I am just risking all the casters curses here today by making these bold statements but that was my opinion and that's what it is uh, either or though if Skull Crusaders can come up with an upset here tonight, that would be even more of a strong statement, just in a testament to what they've been doing. Right now, again, Oculus Seder going from deep, but just dinging that shot. Uh, had to force it quickly, but rebound to himself, and on the shelf for 15 to three on the scoreboard. Oculus Seder making the name of Skull Crusaders known to the universe, the Echo Arena-verse, with 33 viewers trying to force a rhyme badly anyway Nova will launch out here uh, falling behind but uh, again they still have the one game buffer they just need to kind of collect themselves and uh, they, they'll be fine you know need to see those uh, patient plays and try not to get bothered because right now uh, Nova's kind of being bothered by the Skull Crusaders defense the same way in round one that Skull Crusaders were be being bothered by Nova just a reversal here and uh, momentum now off that pass oh that was a good look just tough on the catch So we're receiving it here and trying to dump out a clear just off a bounce. Go into the hands here. Maybe Noah, good stun. Maybe an, un uh, an unnecessary one, frankly, but doesn't matter. Going back into maybe the hands of Oculus Seder. He's nearby. Climbs the post and at least slaps it through. I was going to say, I think if Oculus didn't go for that stun, uh, he would have been able to just grab the disc and have an open goal. But, but grabbing onto that player kind of stopped his momentum so he couldn't get the disc. In any case... Oh wait, I'm an idiot because it was on their side of the floor. Never mind, Pally's dumb. Over here though, on a dunk! Fill a bus! Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, making me snort. <clears throat> also, apologies for brief silences. Uh, a lot of casting over the past few days. Voice is going in and out a little bit, so I'm trying to, uh, to chug a lot of water in between these goals sometimes. <laughs> uh, but, it will be a Nova rolling out here again, a one minute remaining in the second round again for those joining us because the numbers have popped up and continue to in fact because we have 37 viewers now very nice uh it was round one victory for nova 13 to 7 and round two obviously with one minute left it's going to be skull crusaders coming away with a just dominant performance uh really again a testament to the progress that they've made as a team in season one can't praise them enough because it has been just a complete uh a change like a culture change almost i mean I don't know. Maybe I don't want to say that because they were always, uh, you know, even from the beginning, they were still looking for the team play. But it's just nowadays, especially with Oculus Hater involved, uh, they're really just executing all the better. Uh, you know, the shots, the shots or passes that they might have been missing in, in weeks one, two, three, four. For Skull Crusaders, they're not missing the same way anymore. Uh, they're hitting their shots. They're, they're bothering on defense and they're just converting with all the good team play. So uh, 17 to 3 and again, just... Yeah, forceful round for Skull Crusaders. And for the third consecutive time in the stream tonight, we're getting a round three. How about that? Competition is tight. Gotta love it. So one apiece on the round count. Uh, 17 to three for Skull Crusaders. Um, 
Point total, I'm not surprised for Skull. I am kind of surprised that, that Nova got held to only three, though, because uh, no, no small feat, for sure. So definitely closing the margins a little bit. Now, I wanted to take a look at the team stats again just to see where it's at. Uh, interestingly, because the first round, the possession time was almost dead even. Now, Nova's got a solid minute and a half or so of uh, extra possession time. But, uh, yeah, just we're not able to to really do much with it. And then the shot's taken 18 now. Skull Crusader's pulling well ahead. Now they have more assists. And, I mean, they're really caught up. Over there on the, the stun department, Nova's still leading the way, uh, but not by quite as much as before. So, yeah, well played. Well, I was taking a drink, and I almost drowned myself in my water. How does that work? <clears throat> anyway, so Sir Dimwi and Venom over on Nova's side, five points apiece, four for Ascend, two for Zesper. You can see some nice saves on their end and steals. But over on Skull Crusaders, Oculus Sader, I mean, just ridiculous stat lines. I can't... We'll get to everyone else's stats, I guess, the next round, but I, I just... It's mind-boggling the stats that he's put up consistently in every... Every match, I swear to you, Oculus Sader is just, <laughs> to quote uh, Dimwi, is just stupid, but in a good way. The stat lines that he's putting up. I, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, over here, it's Oculus Sader again looking for that grab on the disc. He does get it. Tries to back it out here. Ascend going to bother him. Juking all around, trying to take it himself, but wisely finally dumps it back off to his teammate, Ant Gas here. Looking for that play into the goal. So had a couple of cross options, but was feeling bold. And well, that time it certainly paid off. So first two points in round three for Ant Gas. Putting on the gas just to get it through all that defense. There's a lot of it. The Bugatti saying, it went down the wrong pipe. Oh, the water? Yes, yes. Don't worry, I'm mostly okay. <laughs> mostly. Uh, but yes, up top here to Philibus. Also see Akon there saying Oculus Sater had 30 stuns in round two. Yep, uh, nothing unusual there. I mean, every every category, just, yeah. Far saying, Palador, take! <laughs> As Zesper goes for a bit of a shot, I'll take your... your Bits, Fars. Just the bits, though. Nothing else. <laughs> but good shot there from Zesper. And, oh, a crash, actually, it seems. So not ideal for them. We'll maybe see if we get a reset uh, on their side or not. Pull up the stats just in case we do get the reset. That's the unfortunate part, <laughs> is that we have all these stats, and now we're about to lose them, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, no one really talking to each other. I mean, oh, there you go. So we got... Venom back in the game. I think, yeah, he's the one who dropped out. So, he's back in the match, and I guess he'll just keep playing on. Which, yay! We get to keep the stats. So, you know what? A big ups to these two teams, because they kind of they kind of waited for him to come back. So, cheers for that. Now we get to keep our, uh, our statistics. <laughs> but anyway, over here now. It will be a turnover uh, sent into the other side. Oculus Sater swooping in from just about nowhere, dancing on through, getting a little bit Fancy pants and letting that uh, pass over to Soicy. Soicy just kind of waiting for the defense to form. Uh, doesn't want to rush a shot only to have it intercepted. So you can see, you know, Skull Crusaders well aware of, of the situation and just trying to uh, be smart with it. Oculus Sater there. Again, he's getting minded bold here as he goes in for a goal, but is stunned that time. So as I said, uh, Oculus is very, you know, good and well known for the jukes and things like that, but. You know, just just the fundamental person in me always says, just just be careful on that one because sometimes you'll pay for it if you do it too much, you know. But who am I to talk because he's just been, uh, as I said, he's he's been Skull Crusader's version of game, a.k.a. from, you know, game from Flair. And with some Flair, it's Ant Gas, and oh, he does a dance. He likes it. Takes his chance. Very nice. <laughs> Anthony Gasolini going up here by two for Skull Crew. So he was loving it. Now, uh, Sir Dimwi rolls out. Oh, misses the hands. Actually, never mind. Uh, back pass. Uh, again, when I talk about the uh, bold moves, beautiful back pass on the back tap, if that was on on purpose, which I assume it was. But, oh, boy, those are the ones that, uh, you know, 
if you miss them, they can they can cause some mental snowballs. But nonetheless, Zesper going through and he'll just snowball in for the two. Ties it up. Anyway, not to be overly critical. I don't mean to dwell on that kind of stuff. Just, you know, part of me gets really nervous when I see teams getting too loose because I know, we all know, I think we've all been there before. Um, where you're playing the game and you're playing a match, you're feeling a certain way, you're feeling good, and then you go for kind of the, the steez plays. And if it doesn't work, those ones, they will oftentimes have that mental effect because then suddenly your teammates have a little bit of, you know, they're like, oh, why'd you do that? Even if they don't say it, right? And those are the things that can really snowball. But Venom will roll in again. So uh, that's back to back here. And now assisted by Zesper on that one. Uh, get a three, go up by three, and Nova starting to feel good. So got to praise him for that as well because Nova just... Uh, did not have a good good go of things in round two, losing that 17 to three. And yet the mental fortitude and ability to come back here with some ferocity in their own right, because uh, they're up by three points and really showing their strong mental game for Nova. So well done to them. Oculus Seder going on uh, up on the jump pass, using that athleticism, going for one more and Soisi goes head on into the goal. As I see someone from Nova doing a dance in the background over there, entertaining. And uh, here, it's a one-point game again, less than five minutes left. But very fun match, the third consecutive round three at that on the streams tonight. Could not ask for anything better. So Venom rolls out, and there it is, the Zesper. Zesper going to the side wall. Nova, again, their passes are really starting to become uh, crisp and collected. They're starting to find their stride. There's one more, and there it goes for the score! 10 to 7 for Nova. And as I said, they are starting to feel good. There's the passes that they just couldn't get uh, in the earlier game in round two. But now it's looking strong. So rolling out here is uh, Philip Bus. I really got to. I gotta tone down my voice. I feel like I'm about to lose it for the first time this season, like for real, actually. But <clears throat> anyways, Ant Gas does have it, so excuse me while I might be a little bit more quiet. Uh, but Venom will try to find it. That is a pass, but there it is. Patience, the spacing, you see top, bottom, and goal everywhere on the floor. Uh, Nova's doing a very, very nice job. But turnover cause now, uh, Oculus Seder gets a clear. So he was hot last round, right now just trying to get back on the board and uh, not allow Nova to score anymore. See if they can come back with a rebuttal play. Nice snag there from Oculus Seder, but gets stunned. Stop yelling, Palador. Over here though, oh, with a save, I can't help it. Sir we can't help himself on a fantastic defensive play again. Nova really feeling it on offense and on defense. And oh, oh no nonsense on the shots. Asen gets it in. I'm not going to have a good morning tomorrow. But that play, wow, wow, wow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Man, the plays right now. Now, so by the way, I don't know if anyone from uh, Dimwee's podcast the other day is listening, but do you believe me now? <laughs> In any case, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, I believe. I believe in Nova. Venom. The three. My goodness, what has ha what is this match? You had a super close one, round one. It was 13 to seven, and it really came down to the last minute or so. Round two, Oculus Seder led Skull Crusaders with a just bundle of points to, to finish the round two, 17 to three in their favor. And then now in round three, it's Nova with just a endless barrage piling on point after point. And if this goes even anywhere near that goal, I would have been worried, but taking it back and trying to at least, but the overshoot can't get the disc. Uh, but yes, now in round three, just a, another complete reversal of personality, and we're seeing Nova starting to feel uh, just crazy good. Uh, Ascend, that one gets in as well, and what a surgical pass! 18 to seven! And Nova, look at this replay right here. I'm surprised I got through. I mean, part of that credit to uh, Nova and uh, for the fantastic pass, I think part of it just due to right now, Skull Crusader is kind of 
losing their steam a little bit. And like I said in round two, you know, maybe they're feeling really good. They're starting to go for that super steeze. But you got to be careful with that because if you lose your focus and you allow the other team to start just coming back with the fundamentals, it's going to make you hurt. And I feel like that's what happened a little bit to Skull Crusaders, you know. Nova hunkered down. They kept the mental game. They kept playing the same way, whether they were, uh, were winning or whether they were losing. And as a result, that even killed play got them what? Uh, a win here. It's going to be in the third round. So Skull Crusaders. Uh, I mean, fantastic showing from them, no doubt. Especially in that second round, but the first round as well. It was close. But I, I just think they got away from their game a little bit. They got too loose in round two. Uh, they you know, started going for a lot of the, the ducks and the jumps and the, the stees, the trains, all that kind of stuff that's, that strays away from the game the, that bought, uh, brought them so much success. And uh, as I said, those things can be good or bad. I'm not criticizing it in the sense that it's always bad, but it's just it's like a live or die by the sword kind of thing, right? So if it works, it's great for really tilting other teams and piling on points. Uh, but at the same time, it, it can get you off focus, and you can allow those windows for uh, teams to come back, and that's exactly what Nova did. And holy smokes, did they have a fantastic third round. Uh, just, just as fantastic of a second round as Skull Crusaders had. I mean, geez. So Nova, 18-9 to nine in round three, finishing this one. D destroying my voice in the process even more, but I don't care. Worth it. Maybe not tomorrow, but worth it tonight. Um, oh, yeah, but we do have one more match. Whoops. Anyway, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so 18-9, to 9, you can just look at the, the stat line. Uh, I won't stay too long on the team stats just so I can get a read on the individual stats before everyone's gone. I'll go with Skull Crusaders first. Uh, Oculus Sader, 17 points, 4 assists, 1 save, 2 steals, 54 stuns. Uh, ridiculous stat line. Uh, Ant Gas, yeah, 7 points, 2 saves, 14 stuns. Philip Bust, 4 points, 1 assist, 1 save, 21 stuns. And then Soycy, 5 points, 3 assists, and 19 stuns. Uh, nice, you know, stat line for these players here, but then look at Nova. I mean, they have Venom leading the way with 11. I mean, but almost 3 players in double digit digits. Uh, almost. <laughs> and 9 points on pace! Ow, oh, you kill me! Why did you reset? Oh, Repelador, that hurts. Anyway, regardless, we'll be following Nova into the next game uh, as I compose myself and cry a little bit because I really, I really wanted to read that stat line because it was uh, so nice. But alas, so it shall be. Now, I'm gonna take a brief intermission, but we will be actually staying with Nova here as they do get a, uh, or they do have a match next versus Genesis, who also had a match earlier in the night. So just excuse me for a brief moment. We're going to go to intermission, but we'll be back uh, very, very soon.
All right, hello everyone. Welcome back once again. I am Palador. This is BR Master League, and this is our final match of the evening. Uh, Genesis, who faced off against Guinness earlier in the night, came up just a bit short in what was also a three-round series. So on that note, we've had f we've had four four three-round uh, matches tonight. Uh, the Genesis and Guinness match was not streamed, unfortunately, but the other three that uh, went to three rounds were. Of course, the most recent one being, well, the match we just came off of, which was Skull Crusaders facing off against Nova. And, uh, you know, I won't dwell on it too much because obviously it just happened. So, but uh, still, just great match, crazy match, back and forth for three rounds of dramatic shifts in, in pace and momentum for both sides. And, uh... Definitely a highlight reel worthy match just uh, from the <clears throat> just from the uh, kind of rhythm perspective to, to be able to see teams go down and then get back up and uh, just back and forth. It was very entertaining. So with that, we have a uh, Genesis though coming in with an MMR of 1170 and a record of seven and eight currently after their loss to Guinness earlier on. So with a win versus Nova here, they can go back up to the 500 100 mark, eight and eight, hoping to do so. So Genesis has a, in the last handful of games, they're, uh, they got two wins, three losses. Of course, two of their losses against very, very formidable teams in Orbit and Flare. Uh, they're up, and their two wins uh, against Deception and Nebula before that match against Guinness earlier uh, Guinness earlier in the night, yeah. Now, meanwhile, for Nova, coming in here with roughly an MMR of 1180, uh, may change after that last match that they just won, and their record will be eight wins and nine losses. So, kind of the same thing for Nova here. If they win on this match, they'll actually conclude their night. Uh, evened up at the 500 mark also with a nine wins, nine losses. So both both teams here trying to even up their records as we conclude this mat or this uh, night of streams. See what happens. Now, for all you viewers at home, I unfortunately may be talking less in this stream. Not wasn't joking in the last match. Uh, my voice is actually pretty much on the brink of collapse. I can feel it. It's got that, uh, you know the feeling, right? When you you stay out too late one night, you yell and you scream and you're talking in a crowd. I, I got the, that feel. About to give out. Someone needs to take me out back and just end my casting career. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I might have to uh, take a take myself a break. Hopefully, though, we're okay for this match. Because uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. It should be a close one as well. I mean, that Skull Crusaders Nova match was absolutely hyped. So this one, hoping for much of the same. See if we can't get the fifth three-round series going on for us uh, in the streams tonight. And that's not even counting the uh, Wireless Jacks match versus a six-foot over. That's also happening at this uh, right now as well. Unstreamed, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Going back to the round, and ooh, what's this? We got ourselves a wild terminal in the middle of the lobby. That's okay, though. We got the launch going underway, and here is <clears throat> Genesis with the first tap. But uh, we'll be taken back by Ascend. So Ascend going to the opposite side here. Uh, taken now by Zesper. Zesper contested pretty well down low by H Money. H Money with the uh, the clear, rather. And now just looking for that one. Uh, maybe forming into a shot opportunity if Jay Tabaka gets there. But unable to get the first one out, the second off the wall now. Back to Nova, so some back and forth plays. And into the hands of Sir Dimwi. So Sir Dimwi looking for that play going off the back wall. Definitely a lot of momentum, a lot of, a lot of good feels for Nova coming off of that last win. Uh, just, just huge round three for them against Skull Crusaders. So I'm really curious, but no, undoing any opportunity to start off first hot. Uh, it's a great save and taken right back by Venom, though. So gets the disc. 
and tries to back it up uh, for some more play. Play patiently. Nova here missing a couple passes, getting it knocked off a stray, but right back into their hands. Sir Doomwee takes that over. He has uh, Zesper up top here, but covered well by Caden, so they're just going to back it out even more as they just try and drag the defense out and find their passing angles. Now Sir Dimwi going down low to Ascend, well, going for a dunk. And another missed opportunity there, so can't help but wonder if we're going to see yet another momentum shift, this time in a different match, granted. But uh, Nova, a couple missed passes, a couple missed goal opportunities. So maybe just iced out a little bit off that five minute or so break. Maybe, maybe closer to ten minutes, in fact. Either or, though. Trying to get integrated into the offense here for Genesis. Uh, just the same. I mean, they, they have a match, or had a match a couple hours ago, but had some time here to regather themselves and, you know, form a game plan. I, I can only assume they were actually watching Nova in that last match. I mean, they were, I think it peaked uh, close to around 40 viewers or so. All right, they're going for the goal, and there's Caden. Gets the two to go off the uh, great assist from H Money. But yeah, with uh, 40 viewers in that last match, I can only assume maybe there was some scouting going on from some Genesis players. Definitely well aware of how hot Nova was uh, just moments ago, so just looking to kind of extinguish it, and thus far, looking like that they uh, maybe they have, because they got the first points, and Nova is scoreless as we uh, approach three minutes into this uh, first round. So trying to play the passing game again, but a little too far out. On that pass, was dived on nicely for Genesis, going off to the shot, but that's going to be off and a missed opportunity on that one. Could have put them up by five. Still a rebound, so they'll still have a shot at this one. Going up here, contested heavily, another ding. So maybe the, the ding's a little bit contagious at the moment for both of these teams, trying to make a play right back to Knife Rich. Uh, looking for a barrier pass, just trying to dodge through, but unable to, good stun. Uh, that was Venom getting the disc back for Nova. And Venom will roll out. So off to Zesper on the other end. You can see they, the two-man game perhaps is it just going to roll in for maybe a two-on-two. Two. Starting to turn into a three-on-two. Oh, with a pass. A little off. Still gets it to Venom. Low momentum. But again, another cutoff by Jay Tabaka. Making some more plays. Great work by them. We've seen that a couple times now uh, for Nova. Trying to go for those cross passes across the, the center of the two-point zone right here. You know, in the barrier area. But like I said, maybe some scouting being done by Genesis because they've cut that off now uh, two or three times to really enable some, you know, good opportunities on the other end. Granted, they weren't able to really get back on offense, but still, the defense at least buying them some uh, chances to stave off Nova and then extinguish that, uh, that flame that they had built against uh, Skull Crusaders just moments ago. So as this uh, attempt goes out off the ramp, we'll be just taken back by Sir Dimwi and Zesper by, right there in the bubble. Going for a clear now. Doesn't get it through, unfortunately. So a knife rich. Another back out here. Genesis, another attempt at offense. They're kind of being stifled a bit too, unable to really break through. Uh, that sharp pass will result in a goal. Oh, that's tough. Dimwi had the grab. Let's see what happened there on the replay. Couldn't tell if it, it went through him or if it was more so uh, too deep into the goal and kind of let it in himself. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it looks like kind of a mix of both. He might have been a little too deep into that goal, so unable to get the save. And uh, will be four points for Genesis. So Ascend goes for the pass to Venom. And uh, takes a shot here, Zesper. And... To be quite honest, folks, I may just have to shut up for the rest of the round. <laughs> I, I almost can't talk anymore. I cry every time. But you might be getting a almost castless match here for the remainder. We'll see. Unless you're okay with a really... If you're okay with a whisper, whisper commentary, I might be able to do that. <laughs> but otherwise, going to be hard-pressed to get much out of my air, air pipe, windpipe. The, uh, I suppose the, the blessing and the curse of having uh, so many matches pl being played earlier in the week this time. 
Because normally I, I'd use Monday and Tuesday, which uh, has very few matches. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I use those days as, as my voice rest day. Didn't get it this time. But not complaining too much as uh, Sen going for that one. And taken back by Zesper. Couldn't find the shot, however. So Knife Rich takes it back. And goes for a ricochet clear. That just gets back to the hands of Zesper. Zesper taking disc now. And going for a shot. Nice coordination there. Stunning the goalie and getting the shot. Anyways, yes, I, I, I believe Whisper Cast is in order. My apologies, but deal with it. <laughs> Cruzen saying, put me in, coach. Ah, if only. <laughs> but H Money uh, rolling out here to Jada Baker. And Jada Baker going over to Caden. Caden being stunned out. And Zesper looking for another three, maybe, and it's good. A nice lineup, 20 meters deep from the floor. It's eight to four for Nova. Starting to put it together again. Uh, late in the second, uh, first round. So Genesis rolling out H Money now with Jada Baker at the flank. Interesting choice, leaving a, leaving a man way back there. Because of Nova defense, if nothing else, they've been playing really heavily, but mostly in these mid lanes. So uh, they opted to go through to the mid lane. They actually did break through it, however, so good job on their part. There's a Caden going for that goalie and gets the shot. So it's a two-point match, two minutes left in this first round. Genesis giving uh, one heck of a fight to what was a absolutely on fire Nova after that last uh, series. But keeping it close here. And uh, if nothing else, they have an opportunity to still tie it uh, to pe potentially win it. You know, last couple minutes, minute 40 left on the clock. And Genesis with some good defense here. They might have a chance. Uh, right there's the good defense I asked about, I talked about. It's Knife Rich coming through with an important punch and a slap clear. So now it's all about these stacks. Unfortunately, all the players there for Genesis kind of uh, really far apart. So couldn't get any stacks going. And now to the other side, taken by Nova. They've got a uh, one person kind of near the goal, but uh, just wide open for Venom, assisted by Zesper. Four point lead for Nova in this last minute of round one. Now thus far, it's uh, Zesper pulling away with eight points very nicely. Leading the way. Venom with two points and an assist. Meanwhile, for Genesis, it's Caden with four points. There was also another score. I'm not sure who it went to because it was a partial save that was credited to Dimwi. So someone on Genesis has two more points. But regardless, going to roll out here to the back wall and sling it out there. It was a East End. Ascend. I still have a habit of going back to East End sometimes. Pronouncing it that way. Only crops up every now and then, however, so, hey. So, Jay Tabaka going for a deep clear into the other side. Uh, will bounce to and fro and eventually goes to Knife Rich. No time left for a comeback, but they could at least bring it to maybe a couple point game. But uh, instead, will be Zesper taking that one from deep. Looks a little bit too far to the left, and it is. So, rolling out. Trying for a self-rebound, maybe with one more heave, but no. That's still a win, though, for Nova in round one. Ten to six. So, quick look at the possession time. This team stats, uh, about a minute favoring Nova, as well as five extra shots. Definitely bought them some opportune moments. The assists even, the saves, not too much of a difference. Uh, the stuns, not a huge difference either. Uh, nine more in favor of Nova, who were also leading in that Skull Crusaders game with the stuns for most of it. So more of uh, the same from Nova. They started started off a little bit slower, partially uh, due to Genesis playing great defense inside the bubble, cutting off those cross passes. But at the end of the day, it was Nova starting to catch uh, more of that fire again reignited, if you will, towards the latter half of the round, and it did buy them at least the four-point victory to come up ahead. 
So it, it was uh, Zesper with the 8 points and Venom with 2 leading the way. Sir Dimwi with a save and 9 stuns, Ascend with 11 stuns. For Genesis, it's 4 points to Caden and 16 stuns. H Money with 2 assists and 2 saves. J Tabeka with 5 stuns and Knife Rich with a save and 8 stuns. So as we roll out for round two, let's see what they do. Going dangerously close to the goal, actually. And uh, almost, but bouncing it off uh, again, trying to recollect it here. H-Money, not money, gets stunned. Loses a disc, uh, but Knife Rich is still there to get it right back again, perhaps. Uh, actually, it will be Caden coming away with it. So on the bottom now, taking Zesper. Zesper juking all around, looking a little bit like Oculus Sater a bit. Uh, dodging and juking all around that Geo. Finding Sir Dimwi now as the stack rolls on back into the defense. So just trying to line up and cut off on any opportunity, but a good look here to Zesper will just get himself a one-on-one -on -one and dunks it in with some strength. So right there, the defense from Genesis unable to really uh, get all back into the goal at once. And uh, for any offense, you will gladly take those one-on-ones with a goalie. It's not too often you get one-on-ones these days. Uh, so when you got it, you got to take it. And they made the most of it for Nova. So Jay DeBaker rolls out here. Still uncontested as he approaches the Merc area. Just anchoring down and throwing a pass to H Money, but you now attempting to bait out the defense. But the defense, knowing that they don't really need to, right? They, I, I know there's a lot of time. They have a two-point lead, though. Uh, the main thing is uh, Nova doesn't really have to be more aggressive than they're comfortable with being. You know, they can they can play as far back as they want. Uh, if they're comfortable with defending more so in the mid, you know, in the their side of the floor or in the bubble, they can wait in the bubble. They can make Genesis come out to them because. Uh, they have that offensive advantage, so use it. Uh, here, though, Jada Baker goes for that. Nice uh, shot off passing play from H Money on the assist, and it's tied 2-2. Two two. So Sir Dimwi rolling out for Nova, passing it to Venom. And now it's uh, right back to a tie game. So again, it's neutral territory. These defenses can play as uh, as they want. For Genesis, uh, content with just leaving one or two in the back here as they leave one or two out in the front lines just to contest some of these passes and some of these uh, QBs. Going in there and nice grab from Caden. Gets a save, but a lot of punches from Nova will really delay them heavily here, but still, they do get to the front line first for Genesis. So, despite the good brawls, going on the offense, but knocked loose by some great punches uh, as a send there, I think it was, and H Money on the intercept gets it right back for his team. So again, can make their way into the goal area and see how this offensive line unfolds. Got some good spacing, but you can see Nova doing a great job of just covering off some of their you know, the backboard and the nest plays very well, but forcing that shot now, Sir Dimwi gets the grab and another save, seeing it back and forth from both teams on these plays. Very nice. So just kind of a stalemate almost. And uh, Cruzen saying that oh, that was a bold shot. Uh, yeah, it was kind of, it was taken because the defense from Nova, they had cut off as uh, we get a steal here from Ascend. Going in for a bounce play. We saw uh, some of those in the last match earlier. And uh, another clear goes to the other side now. But yeah, that, that shot kind of forced almost because the passing options cut off fantastically. That said, cutting him off and stunning him off. Sir Dimwi getting stunned, so H Money does get the goal. But, but yeah, uh, just that two plays ago on that defense, uh, mentioned Nova. They are cover covering the barrier, the nest pass up here very well. They had... Genesis was trying to go for a backboard area pass two, and still couldn't get it. So, uh, as I was saying, even in the last series against Skull Crusaders, I mean, Nova's defense, they play very well together. And they, uh, they've they been doing a good job just to cut off these opportune moments. So H Money takes that over, goes for a bouncer. Doesn't find anyone but the ramp, and 
Benham resetting to Sir Dimwi. You can see uh, National Agency stopping by. Welcome to the stream once again. Saw him yesterday as well. But here's Ascend going for a pass to Zesper. Jay Tabeka in the goal for Genesis at the moment. Now Benham taking that right back. And again, here's the patience for Nova. Uh, Sir Dimwi doling out a stun, so if they can kind of move up the floor, you know, press the numbers advantage where they can. Uh, going for a deep pass that's just cut off almost, but Ascend gets the shot right through. Nicely done for another one. It's tied up again in round two here. So still five minutes remaining. As we get what looks to be French, I imagine, from National Agency and Alakos. Lost me there, but good to see the participation and the viewership from all the countries in the world. As Knifebridge takes this one and hurls it over to Caden. What a gorgeous pass that was to open it up on the open goal uh, right there. Six to four. Approaching four minutes left in round two. Could we be seeing another round three on the way? If we, if we do, that would make at least five today, if not even a six, depending on how that wireless Jackson six foot over match is going right now. So the amount of round threes we're seeing this week and last week as well has just been uh, quite alarming, but in a, in a good way. You love to see it. So Ascend finding that pass or trying to to the Pac-Man, but doesn't quite get there. Uh, Ascend rolling in, soft pass. Handing it off right back. A little bit too strong on the second return pass, though. So we'll roll back into the wedge. And now Venom takes it over. So Venom making his way into the hands of Sir Dimwi. And Dimwi hooking it from below. Tied up again. Genesis rolling out here, uh, and again for those who joined us a little bit later perhaps, apologies for this quiet cast, my voice is uh, struggling so I'm just trying to keep it kind of muted, whisper cast for the most part for this uh, last match of our night, so apologies for that. I know it's not as exciting, but gotta do what I gotta do as coming on through is H Money, slinging it out, slapping it to the midline, actually sails past a, a midliner there, couldn't get the, the collection. Caden instead now will roll in. Three players now all rolling in for Genesis. And now they're back up by two once more. It is neck and neck in this second round. Impressively. Yeah, Cruzen pointing out how that that one clear just kind of sailed past the hands of the midliner. Uh, two midliners perhaps. Uh, but yes, uh, not the turnaround they wanted, so again, we see those kind of rhythms t uh, taking place and shifting between these teams. We've seen it with Nova, really, you know, in both their matches tonight. Sometimes they are just right on point, and then every once in a while, they, they kind of lose it for a little bit. They lose that, that momentum, that, that rhythm on the passing and the, and the grabbing and things like that. So it's really a lot of uh, pers uh, personality shifts, almost. But trying their best here to uh, give some good matches and maybe three, another three-round series, depending. I mean, obviously, Nova would love to close it out in two, so if they can just kind of put it together and find themselves a couple more plays in the clutch here, they, they might have a chance. But Genesis, oh, keeping him alive, it's Zesper. So a good dive on there from Zesper to deny what could have been a, a round-closing shot, uh, one of those icy shots. So keeping it alive, Nova just working it up the floor. Uh, almost end to end, coast to coast, and they made the most of it. Zesper ties it up eight to eight, and wow. What was, uh, not sure what, what happened to the defense, but uh, for Nova, literally coast to coast, end to end, Zesper flew it, uh, flew on through. All right, so we have a tied up game. Big Bot with the big sub. Thank you so much in the clutch. 
for subbing with Twitch Prime. Appreciate it tremendously. All right, just might yet a let a uh, uh, yell loose through if, if anything happens here. I mean, got a chance at it. Uh, Genesis looking to force us round three. Some passing plays. A last shot going to be taken here. Will they make it? Knife Rich trying to dish it to the pass. The goal. Oh, not made. It's very, very tough. Jada Baker coming through with a play. And another one. Couldn't go through. Now Nova player crashing out. Still a few seconds remaining. Five going up to Jada Baker. Is it going to be an OT? No, it's a three. And it's the lead. It's the win. Genesis. So very, very unfortunate crash for Nova in the last seconds, uh, but what it will result in is a win and the round three again for the fifth time. Fourth time. No, fifth time, I think, yeah. But what a way to end it there. Sorry, one moment, just trying to find my, uh, some more drinks, yeah? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, just brief as delays, as I say, I'm, I'm kind of going on the fumes here, trying to keep my voice alive. But yes, we have a third round underway in just a moment. So there's a look at the stats real quickly before we direct back to the gameplay. And again, uh, just a night of unbelievably competitive matches, honestly. It's been pretty, pretty uh, unprecedented having this many three round matches in the same night. Uh, but can't complain whatsoever it's nice to see so the question is now off of a great win from Genesis there towards the end a great second round uh, for Nova though what will what will we see from them are we gonna see you know another third round domination where they just start snowballing uh, are we gonna see you know, the, the rhythm continue to just kind of be off uh, I'm not really sure could it could it be a fatigue factor as well on back-to-back -back matches don't know but, but Nova looking to close out. Now that's a good delivery. Soft pass to Zesper. He'll back it out to Ascend. Some quick passes now. Will eventually bounce towards Venom's way. So good job on that one. A fortunate roll. And oh, there's the goal. Not, just missed off a fantastic pass. But looks like Zesper will have a chance. Back slaps it out. Just trying to find its teammate on the other side. And another one of those tap outs. So uh, Genesis doing a good job to contest at every opportunity. Uh, forcing these slaps. That said, Zesper does break away. Oh, no, H-Money brought it into the goal. Oh, he had the save. But it looked like uh, he, he maybe dipped dipped it back there for like a wind-up on the clear. Uh, let's see the replay just to be sure. And yeah, so it looks, it looks like he kind of had a backswing that actually got the goal for Nova. So that is most unfortunate, playing it just slightly too deep into the goal. So H-Money rolling out there. And hoping to undo that mistake. It's one of those things that's tough when it happens, but uh, as long as, I mean, you have eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining, so as long as you don't let it really get under your skin at all, they're still fine. Uh, right there, that pass a bit risky. Very long on that one, so taking it back, though, is Caden, so I'm not being punished for it too bad quite yet. Uh, there's the stack underway at the barrier, so they're just looking for a clear and boost. They're very well prepared for it, but the overshoot does deny them the initial grab. Now, here it goes right back to Jay DeBaker. Trying to dodge Venom, does so successfully. A delivery is just missed there. So back to Venom, and he'll back it out. So Nova, first two points, and back on offense once more. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, they're going to just play it. Try and play it patiently, try to find more of their passes, but that's going to be cut off by Caden. Uh, that three will not go in. And that slap may be rushed a bit, so we'll give the possession right back to Genesis here. The Genesis going through with a attempt, but Caden, the great dive from Ascend. So to the other side, Zesper trying to line up maybe a pass uh, to a couple players. He's actually just waiting for his team to kind of join him on the front line. 
Now forced into a quick one. There's a delivery up top. Dimwi to the goal, but doesn't get it to go. Another intercept. Rebound, that is, to Zesper. And Zesper does get the two-point conversion off of a few different attempts for Nova. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, rolling out for Genesis on the offense. Still yet to score. And six and a half left on the clock. This will get over to Caden. That's going to be a rough bounce off that one. So another one of those long passes. And we're seeing from both teams at the moment as they go for an open goal. That's a three. Seven points for Nova. Looking to, as I said at the beginning of this round, are we going to see that the version of Nova that we saw against Skull Crusaders where they do begin to snowball in the, in the late game? It looks like that could be the case. Uh, but we're seeing a lot from both of these teams. Throwing these long cross passes that are just not connecting. So uh, whether it's being cut off by players or being cut off by the geometry, it's just not working out so far. So H Money backing this one out and going to Jada Baker playing it very slow. A uh, lot of time left, but not necessarily on their side because of the disadvantage on the points uh, sheet that they're on right now. So, uh, like I said, for Nova, they, they really don't need to press this at all, to be honest. Um, that's one of the things, just, you know, clock management and point management. I mean, they're in the lead. You're, you're perfectly happy with uh, Genesis just sitting there on the Merc and holding that disc the entire time. Uh, they, like I said, you don't need to press that up at all. Because Genesis is trying to play patient, and oh, great save from Jada Baker. Gets a good one on, off the clear. And uh, taken right back, some stuns just going back and forth. Uh, but yeah, if I were Nova, like even on this one, I would be very content. Oh, actually getting the nice uh, grab off that boost, so I take it right back as Asen puts it in for nine points now for Nova. But I was about to say, uh, again, as Genesis uh, rolls out here, I would be perfectly content with just letting Genesis do the slow rollouts. Four and a half minutes remaining, a nine point lead. I mean, they, they cannot afford to stall for too long. So if they do go back to that stall game, uh, let them. Because uh, otherwise, Nova's defense has been doing a very great job in their own side of the floor over here just to cut off a lot of opportunities. So uh, you're not in a bother. All right there, though, bothering him heavily. There's a send. So here goes with a shot. We'll roll back into the barrier and taken by Jada Baker. So fortunate for Genesis not being punished on that one as they go for a deep clear. Looking to get it right back for them though, off of some boost. We have a couple players, but uh, looks like, oh, H Money almost getting there first, but converging and will be in fact knife rich for Genesis going back. So 355, they're still in the game, but that pass now to a stunned out Caden, courtesy of a sense punch. Will not buy them the opportunity that they wanted and instead for Nova, looking to go for the alley-oop gently into the goal as the defense rejoined. So Nova, that's twice in a row, two matches in a row where something just lights a fire under them in the third round. And and they just start connecting with every pass. They start getting back to uh, every clear first. And you know, just doing all the, all the, the right things. Uh, Genesis at the moment kind of having are experiencing a little bit of what we uh, saw Nova struggle with before as Caden does go in for a two, so gets the first points finally. Took a lot of time, but uh, they did get that goal off of the assist from H Money. I was gonna say, uh, for Nova, you know, they started struggling a little bit with connecting with some of those passes in, in both round twos tonight. Uh, but then coming back uh, with just a lot of strength and fire for those third round uh, potential victories. We still got time to spare here, so I'm not going to call the game at, by any stretch. Uh, but that said, here it goes. Maybe a momentum shift. If they can get a three off of this, that would be a very, very beneficial for them. But overshooting and just couldn't get there early enough. So uh, forcing it into a slow play again as they roll up to, uh, to Jada Baker. But now he might be out of it, looks like. That, that is most unfortunate. So... Hanging on up top and now going to be a 3v4 for the moment. And rolling back to Ascend and he'll get the clear. And uh, yeah, there goes the crash for Genesis. So losing their player there as 
They just try to recollect on this outnumbered situation. And that will go on to H Money, but he'll be stunned. And Caden coming away with it. And oh, another one. A save looks like off the head, maybe. There was a, a double dive by the goalies. Doesn't matter because H Money will roll for the goal. Four points for Genesis. Much needed, but uh, is it too late is the question. I mean, we'll get the stats up just in case. And there goes the rematch with, uh, I believe, about 146 or so when the restart did occur. Uh, didn't get a good look at all the stats, but I believe it was Zesper leading it with 16 points for uh, Nova, so very strong game offensively for Zesper. Uh, but yes, yeah, so restart will in fact happen as Genesis awaits Jada Baker to return here for the final minute and 40, 40 some seconds. Not impossible to come back here for Genesis, but it, uh, Unlikely is all. It's going to be very tough. I mean, they're down, uh, what, nine points. So they need to score essentially, yeah, three three goals in, in, in a, a super efficient fashion. So I, I feel like maybe at this point it's, it's going to be tough. Because, again, uh, because of the launch timer, you know, you, you figure about 15 seconds off the clock after each score. So uh, because of the continuous clock. So, I mean, there's going to be... Sometimes just not a lot of it and a Genesis a bit out of sorts in the third round. Meanwhile, Nova just kind of rolling and looking uh, very well collected. And yeah, so uh, props to Nova once again. Uh, that, that makes two matches in a row no matter what the outcome of this round is and what this series is. That makes just twice in one night where they've uh, kind of eaten a tough defeat in round two and still managed to come back with strength and composure in round three. So I love to see that from Nova. Because I know that's the, the consistency is kind of something that they've been, you know, working on. Been an ongoing kind of project. And obviously while you, you don't want to be losing those round twos and, you know, uh, in a close fashion or blowout fashions like against Skull Crusaders. And again, I, I know uh, for Nova too, they also had a drop out towards the end of round two. So, you know, there's a bit of an asterisk, uh, asterisk there, I understand. But either way, as I, I was saying, you know, losing those those matches where that uh, they can have a tough effect on your mentality in one way or the other, being able to come back in round three is a big testament to uh, just their their improvement as a team, and it's uh, very important. Like that mental game is always one of those X factors. I think on any given night, you know, whether you're talking bronze level or master level, doesn't really matter if if uh, one team has that mental edge where they they don't get tilted they don't really lose track of uh, how they're playing they stick to their game uh, a lot of the times that team is just gonna buy themselves a lot more opportunities to win again it's kind of that that invisible immeasurable factor you, you can't you can't put a number on it but you can definitely you can definitely see it and if you're a player you can feel it so uh, the un the untilted team will win more often than not I do believe but always a tough task without a doubt so we do have uh, the rejoin here from Jay DeBaker getting back into the match. And trying to help out his team uh, mount a comeback. A tough one, but a possible one. And, uh, we'll see what how this one unfolds. Can only assume, uh, yeah, these Nova feeling pretty good overall, but uh, definitely need to maintain that concentration for this last minute and a half, minute 45. And just recognize the fact that nothing is guaranteed here late. Uh, so just uh, maintain that composure and keep playing out these last uh, minute 45 seconds with the, the same kind of intensity that you did the first, uh, you know, nine minutes or so. Or eight, eight minutes. So the ready up going on from Genesis. They're the ones who had crashed out and called the timeout. So uh, just waiting on Nova here for the final minute 45 of round three. Game after game tonight, though, has just been super competitive. Round three after round three. Uh, as I said, I don't know how the uh, wireless jacks and six foot over match went, but but for all the matches that we streamed, I mean, every single one has gone to round three tonight. 
as well as the Genesis uh, and Guinness game earlier on that was not streamed. So, a lot of tight matches. And just getting ready for the conclusion of this last one of the night. Nothing else happening uh, as far as I'm aware, unless anything was scheduled last minute. But it doesn't look like it, look like that's the case, so yeah. Ooh. Just noticing this a little bit. That's, that's not good. But just uh, waiting for the end of this... Uh, this uh, Little intermission between rounds between the ready ups, and we'll get started with the final round here. Round starting and uh, Vanzi saying 12, 11, 10, that Wireless Jax five, took that game in the third. So seven, there you go. That's uh, pretty unprecedented. I'm trying to re recall the uh, earlier match in the day, the European match. I think that one, yeah, that one just between Alpha Ducks and. Uh, Watch and weaves. That went to two rounds. So, man, <laughs> only that match. Otherwise, every other match the rest of the night, as that one goes through, oh, almost had a chance. Uh, over here, rebound as we continue the remainder of the third round. Zesper to the tunnel, hitting Sir Dimwi. Uh, makes this one. Actually, just takes a bad bounce, so kind of on that overhang. Didn't quite clear it, but. But, yeah, so that, that means uh, every match tonight in North America. I think six of them now. Uh, all of them went to three rounds. Impressive and unprecedented, like I said. That does not happen very often. But, uh, yeah, hope to see more of that continue through the finish of this uh, season as we continue going on to week eight and to week nine as well. Going in for that shot off the backboard. Venom puts that one in, and that will uh, very likely be the closure on the comeback opportunity for Genesis. Just not enough time. So as we prepare for what could possibly be uh, the final launch, uh, H Money going through, but oh, instead of turnover, so maybe Nova looking to collapse on this one one more time, Try, trying to go for that uh, clear and boost play. So Zesper has himself that open slice, just to put the cherry on top for Nova and what's been a great night for them. So now for sure the last launch going out. As the game is about to expire, and indeed, uh, Nova, fantastic performances. One of their best weeks so far, just in terms of comeback ability. You know, cl uh, closing out when it was important to. And they did. They did it twice in a row. <laughs> and it was very fun to watch. Uh, for Genesis, competed hard, forced that round three, had a great round two, uh, but just unable to really get it going uh, in this third round. And so it shall be. Not really any stats to work with because of the reset, so... Just have to go off of the highlights and see what there is to offer. But yeah, a fantastic finish here to Nova's night, and they will, as a result, uh, thanks to not only the uh, two games tonight, but just you know the momentum they've been trying to build as of late and uh, trying to compose themselves, you know, to to connect more on those passes and really clamp down on the consistency. Like you're seeing the progress at play. So because of that, they will be uh, 500 on the win-loss sheet. Uh, they'll have nine wins, nine losses. So uh, they'll be happy to cap off their week that way for Nova. Uh, on Genesis's side, they will fall here off their two losses tonight. Close ones, I mean, both around threes, but just couldn't quite find the wins. Uh, they will fall to seven wins and nine losses on the season. So not the week they wanted exactly results-wise. Uh, maybe if they get a challenge match or something throughout the end of the week, they can come back a little bit. But like I said, still a very good team. Genesis is, and they'll have a lot more opportunities to get right back in the positive columns uh, over the next few weeks, no doubt. All right, so until then, uh, I'll bring up the schedule. Nothing else left for today, but we do have matches tomorrow, of course. And let's see, scroll down a bit, can see all those unreported games so far, but we do have uh, Watch and Weaves making their second appearance this week. Versus Fusion. That'll be a fun one to watch. Without a doubt. Uh, hopefully more competitive ones right there. Fusion has been one of those teams who have been improving week by week. And they've gotten some wins under, the, uh, under their belt as of late. So seeing if Fusion can continue to roll in the latter half uh, of Season 1 for Europe. And then we also have Phantoms versus Vibers. 
That's going to happen at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. We have uh, Smash Dash and Vertigo facing off. And then in the evening time, North America, we've got Space Force versus Deception at 7.30 p.m. Central or 5.30 Mountain Time. We have Mirage making their second appearance in the, in the league and this week versus Chaos. That should be an interesting match for sure. Mirage, one of those new teams, new co two competitive players. Uh, they've been fun to watch, however. And then we got Nebula versus Six Foot Over, Invictus versus Reboot, Milk versus Infinite. There is no team versus Legends, and finally, whew, finally, A Plus Ultra versus Wireless Jax. A lot of matches. I, I have my concerns about me being able to actually cast all these, but I will be there for camera work, if nothing else. And we'll uh, get as many of them as we can, but that's a jam-packed night, and uh, I can't wait. All right, so until then, I've been Palador. This has been VR Master League, and thank you all for watching and what was an entertaining set of series. So be safe, be healthy, social distance, wash your hands, take care of yourselves, please. And uh, have a good rest of your evening.